Hello and welcome back and today I want to talk about bigger, better, faster Seagate hard drives. I don't know if you guys heard about this during 2019, it cropped up earlier in the year, I think about March, April and although we talked about it on the channel in a little bit of detail, we didn't go into too much detail because it was very early days but since it's revealed at CES 2020, I want to talk about Seagate HAMR and Seagate Mac. Two. Now, these are two words you're going to hear quite a lot of it um, throughout 2020 because Seagate are going all in on this. It's kind of the next ecological step in the world of hard drives, and I'll be interested to see how WD responds. Now, there's always been a big argument with hard drives versus SSD, with them, with, you know, notwithstanding things like heat and noise. One of the biggest differences between hard drives and SSD is, of course, the speed. The speed at which we access and we can pull read and writing uh, data onto a hard drive or from a hard drive is vastly lower than that of of an SSD. Things have been increased, such as increasing the cache from like 256 to 512 meg in some of the biggest hard drives out there, as well as increasing the RPM of drives from the lowly 5400 that we've seen domestically, breaking through into 7200 RPM and even 10,000 RPM with some of those Velociraptor drives and other crazy fast drives. But the new series of Seagate drives, the Mac 2 series, are something else. Now, it's still going through the testing phase right now, but we did see drives being shown at CES 2020, and the proposed speed levels they've got of sustained 480 megabytes per second performance, which is way higher than that of the one or 200 that we've seen in standard hard drives in and outside of NAS. So let's talk about it. For a start, what is Mac 2? Mac 2 is the multi-actuator si system from W um, from Seagate. Now, what that means in real terms is generally a hard drive is comprised of several components. Sadly, I don't have a deconstructed hard drive here like I do in the other studio. But what happens is the inside of a hard drive is made up of platters, those make those discs that all your data lives on. And data is accessed from that by the disc spinning and an arm flicking along and reading the data on the disk. So I'm going to keep this as caveman as possible. I apologise, it's raining here outside of my studio and there's just nothing I can do about it hitting that wall. So I apologise if there's a bit of noise there in the background. Now, when this arm is reading the data from those disks, the limitations of data access come down to several points of flux. Firstly, the speed at which the disks spin up, spin down, and basically move so the arm can access them. The next one is the arm itself, its own movement, and the hinge, so to speak, that the arm lives on. And that hinge, the device that lifts the arm around, is the actuator. Now, what's happening with these new drives is they're introducing a second actuator. The Seagate Mac 2 series is a two actuator, so in other words, two arms system that allows up to double the access on the drive. And uh, so what we're getting there is the improved performance of two sets of reading and writing operations happening on the disk and the actuator and the uh, drive's controller micromanaging the whole thing. But as you'd expect, this kind of technology has been theorized for a long time. The problem has always resided in power and heat being a problem and to get a hard drive to get the kind of read and write access you'd find on an ssd will produce a hell of a lot of heat and, and require a lot of power compared with traditional hard drives not just double because of the two arms but even more than that and that is achieved with hamr i'm going to consult my notes heat assisted magnetic recording and this is what allows the drive to be able to achieve the multi-actuator uh, performance output compared with a traditional hard drive. Now again, there's a lot more information about this in the NAS Compare article in the description below. I'm trying to keep this video as chewable and user-friendly as possible because even though the subject of Hammer and Mac 2 from Seagate has been knocking around there for almost a year, it is very hard to get this information in a presentable fashion. And to be honest, I was curious whether Seagate would pull this off. Hence why I've not really touched on it on this channel and talk more about the increased capacities and why I think they are ballooning out of control. Always feeling like these brands should be focusing more on access speed than capacity. 
but in the form of Mac 2 and um, Hammer Assistant, or HAMR Assistant, that is where we're truly seeing capacity and speed evolving side by side. And the promise that we're going to be seeing, the existing storage levels that we know of right now, from 1 to 14 and 16 terabyte, suddenly being available in a double performance boost, is interesting. Don't get me wrong, we're probably not going to see this outside of data center and enterprise at the beginning. It will probably be some sort of a version of the Seagate Exos series, so don't be surprised if you don't see this filtering down to home or NAS users for a good year or two yet. I think we will, but I think we're more likely to see things like NVMe come down in price to a point where it becomes a viable option. And with NVMe and PCIe-based access becoming both more affordable and NAND being used to get even bigger capacities, for you guys at home and NAS users, I think you should be moving more towards NAS anyway. But for data center use with enormous volumes of storage, where a 16 TB drive won't last much time at all, the increased access times available on Hammer and Mac 2 assisted uh, Seagate drives and this technology they're working on could be a real game changer. And I'm really looking forward to finally before the end of this year, getting my hands on some of these devices and testing just how good this drive is and whether it can hit that 480 megabytes per second that they are promising. But do say subscribe to this channel by clicking the bell or the subscribe button to know in future when updates happen. And if you enjoyed this video, I found it useful, click like. And otherwise, I will see you next time.